Run the wires from the left side of the cluster through the left hole in the dash. Run the wires from the right side of the cluster through the right hole in the dash. Also, run the wire from the switch cable through the left hole in the dash. You may need to reach up under the driver's footwell to get the cables to come down, but there should be a total of seven. Clean up the wires a bit by gently pushing them as far down as they will go. Insert the cluster into the dash, making sure the wires fall down as you install the cluster. Turn the cluster to the right and press the green connector into the right socket in the cluster. Lower the pink locking lever to lock the connector in place. Press the blue connector into the left socket in the cluster. Lower the pink locking lever to lock the connector in place. Work the cluster into the dash, making sure all the wires except for the switch cable are behind the cluster and not crimped. Screw the two Torx 20 screws into the appropriate holes in the cluster. Install the steering column cover by inserting the back and tilting the cover down. Slide the plastic trim piece in place by aligning the tabs and pressing in. With the cover in place, install the two Phillips screws under the steering column. Install the seven ribbon cables into the circuit board, matching up the labels. They will only go into the connector one way. Slide the red positive terminal onto the battery. Torque the positive terminal nut to six newton meters or until tight and reinstall the battery cover. 